You see, we tried all of our life to, to control our thoughts and emotions. And this is the old way of living. Now, I'll speak about the old way of living, <laughs> of using our mind, controlling what we feel and think, projecting situations to the future, and how will I react when it happens? Yeah. What will I say when someone is annoying? <laughs> what will I say when I feel comfy or when I feel lazy or whatever it is? So we are trying to control what we feel and think. And why do we do that? Because we just want to feel safe. We want to feel that we are okay. <laughs> we want the confirmation that we are doing well. We, we don't want to be afraid. We are afraid of the flow of life, of what will come up. We actually see that we can't really control our thoughts and emotions. We are trying to do it, and that's why it's so exhausting. That's why we are uh, facing lots of suffering and struggling. <coughs> I know for myself, I've been struggling in keeping positive thoughts and emotions in place. So badly I wanted to be a positive person. And I said to many people, I'm a positive person. I'm positive, I'm positive, I'm positive. But in my mind, there are many things I was avoiding, feeling and thinking because I really wanted to keep up with feeling positive, thinking positive. Lots of affirmations, lots of repetitions about positive <coughs> thinking. And that was really the way I lived my life. And I'm sure that you can relate with that, trying to have positive experiences, having fun, um, drinking alcohol or whatever, drugs, sex, relationship. In all these things, I looked for positive experiences so I can put them together and say I'm a positive person or I'm not a negative person, so speak with me about the positive thing. And in the same way, we try to get rid of all the negative thoughts and emotions. Here we call everything data, so I just keep it simple. We try to get rid of our data streams, our negative data streams. How did we do it? Avoiding our thoughts and emotions, avoiding our data streams. I don't want to think that way, I don't want to feel lazy, I don't want to feel comfy. I'll come to work and I will not feel it. I will just, you know, I just don't think about what I'm thinking and all day we are thinking about it because <laughs> it's like really exhausting trying to not to think. We're thinking even more about what we are not wanting to think. And or we try to replace it with maybe a nice song that we just put it on and then, oh, it makes me feel so good. Mm. We replace it. We replace our negative data streams, trying to feel good. Maybe buying some flowers, going shopping, um, I don't know, listening to music, dancing. Um, yeah, these are the ways I dealt with. I'm sure you all have your own styles. And another thing is also indulging. Indulging, speaking about endlessly with friends, coming to work and speaking with everyone uh, about how uh, comfy I am, how lazy I am this morning, how moody I am, don't speak with me or speak with me <laughs> because I want your attention. <laughs> I really want to feel that someone uh, recognizing that I'm actually feeling comfy this morning and I need the attention, <laughs> right? I know for myself I wanted lots of attention when I felt negative because I wanted people to see because I wanted their support or help or I wanted them to understand me. I wanted to feel like I'm understood or I'm loved or look, I looked a lot for confirmation of I'm not that, I'm not that what I feel or I'm good enough. So these are the ways of, this is the old way, okay? Old way of using our mind. We are living in our thoughts and emotions, living in them, and they are like endless, and we are feeding them with different like sweets and <laughs> also things that they don't like, but they're, they're just fed with more thoughts and emotions, and it doesn't mm -hmm. stop. It doesn't stop. Um, I basically felt like exhausted from trying to be a positive person, but I didn't know that. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> <coughs> and um, make it, meeting this teaching is, is so powerful. You know, having the introduction 
to the nature of our mind is so powerful because it, it introduces us to our power to know everything, to the basis of everything that appears. And to be introduced to open intelligence, we can do it right now. Stop thinking, just for a moment. What remains? There is openness, alertness, the power to know. This is open intelligence. This is our own open intelligence. And immediately thoughts are coming in. Thoughts, emotions, sensations. And these two, inseparable from open intelligence. You see? Like the color blue in the sky, inseparable. Thoughts, emotions, sensations, and other experiences, inseparable from our power to know, from open intelligence. Our mind is always clear. It's like the vast sky. Everything appears within the mind. Everything appears within sky. Yeah, like um, uh, lightning in sky. Data stream appear and leave no place. Like our thoughts and emotions the same. They appear and they disappear, leaving no place. Now we don't need to effort trying to watching our data and see and recognizing and seeing if it's the case. But what we're offering here is a very powerful practice that you can really recognize it instinctively in your own experience right now. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous, until this recognition becomes obvious at all times. So a short moment right now, not in the office, right now. The story about the future, what will happen, we never know. Thoughts and emotions, as we said, unpredictable, <laughs> uncontrollable, completely changing all the time. Do we want to rely on that or we, do we want to rely on the basis of our mind, <coughs> on the nature of our mind, which is always stable, always clear, the power to know. So a short moment of completely relaxing body and mind right now. Resting naturally exactly as you are with whatever comes up. And we all have thoughts and emotions, <laughs> right? Even if we try not to think about anything, we do have thoughts and emotions. There is no need to effort to try to arrive to a blissful state where we don't have thoughts and emotions. A short moment of complete relaxation. Complete relaxation, the most enjoyable, like relaxing, like having nothing to do in your life anymore. <laughs> having nothing to do just right now just for a moment and repeat this recognition in whatever you do whatever you do and whatever you don't do whether you're bored whether you're busy whether you're cooking whether you're singing whether you're at work lots of things to do nothing to do a short moment repeated many times the recognition becomes obvious and why it becomes obvious because it's our natural state it's our natural way of being and when we repeat this recognition of open intelligence, we recognize that all these thoughts and emotions are inseparable from open intelligence. So if we lived in our thoughts and emotions for a long time, many, many years, <laughs> many people are living in the thoughts and emotions and trying to rearrange them, putting this positive aside, negative, you know, like the sorting machine. It was just a perfect um, a metaphor of that sorting machine, positive here, neutral here, negative here, and we are trying to move from one to another. This is a life of extreme, where we are trying to keep data in place and maintain it and you know, try to um, make it again and again happen, and it doesn't come out in the same way. But once we have the introduction to open intelligence and we have short moments of open intelligence, we are completely relaxing with everything as it is. We are acknowledging, acknowledging this complete relaxed way of being. And not only relaxed, completely powerful and beneficial. Why? Because we are not <laughs> having like, we are not like looking at our thoughts and emotions all the time. We are just wide open. Like on the top of the mountain, we see everything. We are not in the valley when, when we don't see, we, we just see what is, okay, on the right, on the left, on the right, on the left, <laughs> okay? And we, are, we just like, we are not sure what to do, but we are on, 
on the top of the mountain, we see everything. We have all the options and we see clearly. And that's the power of open intelligence. We are not distracted by our thoughts and emotions anymore. We see them as open intelligence. They're not also enemies <laughs> trying to punch them away, <laughs> you know, get rid of them. We let them be as they are, as they are for short moments. And we repeat that, repeat that. Whether we have the greatest ideas <laughs> or we have really boring ideas that no one wants to listen to, open intelligence is present, equally present. The point is not to look at our thoughts and emotions to mean something. The point is to take a short moment of completely relaxing with everything as it is. Because this is what will empower us to take actions in the world that are of benefit. To use our speech in ways that we haven't used before. <laughs> we used our speech because we wanted to speak about what we feel and think all the time. Wanted to justify ourselves, right? Wanted to have confirmation, speak about our data. So this is the ways we use our speech. But when we rely on open intelligence, we can use our speech in ways that are really of great benefit. It doesn't mean that we speak all day about open intelligence. So we, we are just so natural and fun to be with because we are just completely open. It's so much fun to be with us. You know, we are open to people. We are listening to one another. We're listening to our family. We're listening to people that we love rather than trying to change what they think and what we're thinking and always thinking about what we are thinking during the conversation. So imagine that this is the new way of living where we are not trying to sort all day our thoughts and emotions. It's like living in a cloud of thoughts and emotions. We don't really open to life. But when we have the clarity of open intelligence, and when we acknowledge that moment to moment, everything is clear, everything is open, everything is relaxed. We are just learning to relax, to relax moment to moment. We, and we see that it's okay to do it, you know? It took me some time to gain confidence in that, to feel, oh, is, is it really fine to leave my negative data as they are? Is it really fine not to speak about my data anymore? To look for reasons? <laughs> Um, to speak with my friends about what I feel, is it really fine to do? And a short moment was so powerful because I could really see that I can let myself be as I am. Whatever it is, you know, you don't know what thoughts I have right now. Does it matter? <laughs> in this way, we can really engage in ways that are of benefit. When you come to work and you do your work, rather than speaking about what you're thinking and feeling, and this is amazing because regardless of what we're thinking and feeling, we can, we can be of great benefit. We can, we can respond to people rather than trying to uh, change their views, <laughs> you know? Uh, waiting for them to stop speaking and then we say something so that we, we are just, you know, making our point. They're just completely easeful. That's, that's how we work together in teams. Also here, you see, it doesn't really matter what we think and feel. We take responsibility for our thoughts and emotions. And in this way, there's so much space, so much time, so much energy to really put great ideas into practice, you know, into reality. Not just to think about them, but to actually do it. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying, okay, now you do all your great ideas. I'm just saying from the perspective of open intelligence, you really see how to be of great benefit moment to moment. And it's more spontaneous than ever. There's no effort in being of benefit. It's natural to us, you see. It's natural to us. It's the most natural way of being. We just ignore that for so many years, believing that we need to <laughs> sort everything sort everything. So when we come here and we've given the introduction to the nature of mind and we have a practice, then <coughs> actually practicing will provide the results, not thinking about it. That's, the di that's a, a huge difference. That's how to be in, in a complete balanced view, not to be in extreme. Restful awareness, resting as we are. 
and acknowledging that moment to moment.